Okay, everyone, here's our fourth and final sentence type, the compound complex sentence. This is basically a dependent clause added to two or more independent clauses. So for example, because we are a family, that's your dependent clause, I love you and you love me. There we have the two independent clauses. In essence, the compound complex sentence is a less formal compound sentence plus a complex sentence. These can be a little bit challenging for students to write and analyze, but let's take a look at the grammar. So here we have a sentence. After the two soccer players lost their game, they joined their other teammates for lunch and they went to the movies. So let's take a look at how many subject-verb combinations or clauses there are in the sentence. So we can see here, we have two soccer players lost. That is one clause. They joined is the second clause. And they went is the third clause. Now, because there are three clauses in here, we know that there has to be connecting words. So let's take a look at what kind of connecting words we have. We have after and and. We also know that after is a subordinator and and is a coordinator. We know that subordinators create complex sentences and that coordinators create compound sentences. So if we look at the dependent and independent clauses, if we try to identify those, we can see that after the two soccer players lost their game, that's the dependent clause, they joined their other teammates for lunch, that's the independent clause. Just that alone is the complex sentence type. With the and, after the and, we see they went to the movies. That's the independent clause. So here we have the, uh, the independent clause and the independent clause together. That would be the compound sentence type. So you might be thinking to yourself, why do I even have to know this? Why do I have to know all these different sentence types? Well. When you know all these sentence types, it adds variety to your writing. It makes your writing sound more mature. And it creates interest for the reader and the listener. When you have sentence variety in your uh, essays or your writing assignments, you start with the simple sentence. So if you know the simple sentence, you can build from there. You can create compound sentences. You can then create complex sentences. And from there, you can even make compound complex sentences. So all of these together, knowing the simple sentence, knowing the compound and complex types, it's a way of building a sentence variety in your writing. The other thing to understand about these connecting words, as I'll call them, is that they all show relationship. Maybe you want to show a relationship between two ideas. You want to show addition, for example. You can choose what kind of connecting word. You can choose a coordinator, or you can use a transition word. If you want to show contrast, you can use a, maybe a complex type. You want to show a compound, sorry, you want to show a compound sentence type. Or later on in your, in your writing, you want to show contrast, but you want it to be complex. So here is a, is a chart that could help you to understand that they all have a relationship and you get to choose the sentence type that you want to create. So now let's take a look. This sentence type identification has all the types that we've studied. So I want you to write in your notes these four sentences. I want you to circle the subjects and underline the verbs. And then most importantly, put triangles around all the connecting words that you see in the sentence. And then finally, identify that 
sentence type. Is it a simple sentence? Is it a compound? Is it complex? Is it less formal or is it more formal? You decide. 